4,800 level, very important level. Um, this is where we hit last time. How's everybody doing? Futures down 100. I think today creates a buying opportunity. Hopefully we'll get some. Dude, just down 98 here. So we'll see what happens today. I think today creates a buying opportunity. Weekend, uh, weekend was okay. You know, I was nervous over the weekend to come back and see what the market's going to do. Um, I mean, let's see Apple today. Apple down five. ARKK down three. I know personally I'm going to lose money. I always have money invested in the market. So if you have a 401k, if you have an IRA, if you have a SEP, you're going to lose money on days like today. And I know that. Craft down 40 cents. But keep an eye on longs today, guys. I think today will be an opportunity to get some longs today. The 39s at Craft are set 9 at 17. Um, craft only down 24 cents here. Let's go to the futures here on the daily chart. I want to see if we're at these oversold levels. Um, RSI, I want to put in here, the Relative Strength Index. So, not, not exactly to the oversold level just yet. We're getting close, but not at the oversold level yet. So, on the daily chart, we're only hitting 34 in the S&P. I would like to see us hit a little bit lower. Um, we're at right at that critical 3807 level. That's where we hit last time, and we did bounce from that level. Um, so 3807. And this week is going to be a little interesting, guys, for the trading room. I am. There's an event of like 250 people that obviously yours truly is the MC of the event. So on what we're going to do is Tuesday and Wednesday. We will. I will not be doing the opening bell. Um, so Tuesday and Wednesday, I will not be doing the opening bell. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do a double shift, and I'm going to do a rare bonus trading session on Friday for expiration. So this week's schedule is we know you value your ATA time. AK will not be on Tuesday or Wednesday. And then bonus trading session. Thursday and rare Friday opening bell. So that's what's going to be going on here um, this week. I've been thinking about you and you and you. Come on, baby, give us some signals. Futures down 90. Expiration is on Friday. Powell speaks this week. Probably no five minute bar longs. We do have education. Futures down 88 and a half. Uh, yeah, I think Brian will be Tuesday and uh, Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Brian will be covering Tuesday and Wednesday. Craft down 20 cents. The craft calls are they're about 20 cents here. At 20, I'd rather sell them than buy them. Futures down 86. DraftKings down 65 cents. Futures popping from the lows. Exxon calls being sold. Beyond Meat actually hired us this morning. Good morning, morning, morning. How's everybody doing? USL calls being sold. Five minute bars, most likely there'll be nothing today. We do have option education uh, today. No bonus trading on Mondays, guys. No bonus trading on Mondays. We do have education 
at 9.30 Central Standard Time. Nothing has hit our scanner so far. 3807 has accurately been tested, guys. 3807 has accurately been tested. Amazon calls being sold. If you're long anything today, 401k, IRA, cryptos, cryptos getting crushed today. Crypto's getting destroyed today. Norwegian weekly calls being bought. Norwegian weekly calls. 12 and a half trading here in Norwegian, guys. Norwegian calls trading here. Norwegian calls trading here, guys. Norwegian calls trading here. Norwegian calls. Weekly calls in NCLH. I would like to see the market go down a little bit more and then get some buy signals. We haven't seen any buy signals yet today. So I'll put the link in here for option education today. Today's free options education at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So here is your link for free option education today, guys. Here's a link for free option education. We're getting through intermediate next week. We do not have anything on Monday. GOLD calls being sold. Oh, we have our first moonshot. Norwegian calls, guys. We have our first moonshot in Norwegian. So Norwegian calls being bought, guys. Those had is a moonshot. So if you're a little bit bullish on the market, you could take these. These are Norwegian calls, guys. These are Norwegian calls. Weekly calls in Norwegian, the 12 and a half, trading 49 cents is where they hit the tape. I'm not going to call these as official signal. So Moonshot, buyer of Norwegian, NCLH, this week, 12 and a half calls for 49. So if you're going to trade these, maybe trade these a little bit smaller. Maybe trade four of them. Maybe trade six of them. So Moonshot here in Norwegian, guys. Moonshot in Norwegian. Noonshot, Moonshot, Moonshot, Noonshot. In Norwegian. <clears throat> Norwegian. Ethereum just getting destroyed. Look at it. Look at the cryptos, guys. I do long. I am long Bitcoin, and I'm long. I literally have like fifteen hundred dollars in Ethereum. Bitcoin 23.5. That is unbelievable. Ethereum down to 1,200. That is crazy. Norwegian calls being bought. Norwegian Cruise Lines. Norwegian Cruise Lines. Calls being bought small. Not an official signal. If the low is in for the day, how high can it get today? CHPT calls being sold. CHPT calls being sold here, guys. If the low is in for Norwegian, how high can it get today? We go to the five minute bar. Um, and Norwegian can get up to 1319. So the ATR here is a dollar eleven. ATR here is a dollar eleven in Norwegian. Let's go to the five minute bar, just make sure there's nothing. Signals, Apple, no signal. Amazon. I think this is not the one that has the signals. Now we have to go to this one. All right, five minute bars. Apple, no signal. Amazon, no signal. Baba, no signal. Tesla, no signal. Netflix, no signal. Google, no signal. And Facebook is now meta. No signal. So no five-minute bar longs. No five-minute bar longs here, guys. No five-minute bar longs. No five-minute bar longs today. No five-minute bar longs.
So no five in a bar logs. Norwegian's the only thing we've seen. Those are up a couple pennies. Craft calls are down. We'll do a poll today. Do you think the market's going to go higher? We do have education today, guys. And Norwegian on a 52-week low, too. So Norwegian on a 52-week low. And of course, when it gets, it's going to get hot in Chicago. I'm gone. I'm headed to Orlando today. <laughs> uh, yeah. 638 names are making new 52 week lows today. 638 names are making 52 week lows today. Airbnb new 52 week low. ZI making new lows. Mm, no signal so far today. I'm looking for an opportunity. That did not save. Norwegian's the only thing that hit. I wouldn't be taking those. How much is the market down today? 100? Come on. Here's my list of new 52 week lows 640 of them. 640 new 52 week lows. Futures done a hundred. Hundred. <coughs> Norwegian calls down to forty six. Uh, uh, uh. Dun, dun. Oh, new low here. Take it out the 3807 level, guys. 3807. You're going to have to really back us out to like a, a weekly chart. So if we go to a weekly chart here, this will be the lowest level we've traded since March of COVID. So before COVID, we were at 33.50. So uh, Steve Grasso was telling um, like 33.50. That's hit was his level. So nothing has hit the tape besides Norwegian calls. Love ain't no having it. Yeah, meet up on the day. Craft calls down. Let's go to Hood. Hood July 10s. 1516. Oh my God. Last three trades I think we put out have been losers. I think the last three trades we've had been losers. Boeing down nine. Wind down. Baba down. ARKK down. Everything is down. If any puts at the table, let you know about puts. You just done 107. Ooh, the Warriors play tonight, too.
CDE calls being sold, nothing to do there. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing has come across the tape. She's done 96. We're down as much as 107. We're not going to put any political thoughts in here, guys. No political thoughts. Coinbase down again. Coinbase down to 51. NC, Docu, nothing. I've only seen one thing hit the tape. It's been uh, NCLA. <laughs> oh, I just hear a noise. What hit the tape? Amazon Dollar Club. Amazon Weekly 111s, guys. Amazon Weekly 111s. So if you're looking at something alongside, someone's getting after Amazon Weekly 111 calls. 112, they're hitting the tape, guys. Amazon weekly 111 calls hit our dollar club. Amazon weekly 111 calls, a dollar 12, guys. This gives you the whole week for a dollar 12 in Amazon. Amazon 111 calls, dollar club scanner. You got to be bullish if you want to take this. Flags, buyer, Amazon. This week, 111 calls for 112, guys. Amazon calls being bought half a million dollars worth of Amazon calls. Amazon calls hitting our proprietary base dollar club scanner, guys. Amazon calls being bought dollar club scanner here in Amazon. 112, you can get them for 110 right here, right now. Amazon, guys, Dollar Club Scanner. If you like those options, $1 to $2, these expire this week. ba da 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 Dollar Club, guys. You can get them a little bit cheaper here. You can get them a little bit cheaper. You can get them a little bit cheaper here, guys. You've got to think the market's going to go up if you're going to take these guys. These are these options, $1 to $2. Minimum of 1000 lot. Volume greater than open interest. If you want, if you like one of those traders that think the market's going to go down a lot, you can put a 50 cent bid in. Maybe you try to get them for half the price. You can always try to get them for half the price. I've done that before. Maybe you turn them into a call spread. Maybe you buy the 111, sell the 112s. You can get them a little bit cheaper here. Futures down 99. Two signals so far today. Norwegian and Amazon. Amazon has an ATR of $6 a day. $6 a day.
Amazon calls. One time, one eleven call spread. Like, I like that. Twenty five cents versus twenty five to make us uh, make it to a dollar seventy five. Do 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 do. Only thing we see today is Norwegian and Amazon. Norwegian and Amazon, guys. And a big order in Amazon. Future's down 102. Amazon down to 95 now. One oh one. So the few the bulls are not come back yet. If the low is in for Amazon, it can get up to one oh nine fifty seven. One oh nine fifty seven. Nicola down forty cents. Amazon calls. They bought sixty four hundred of those total. No five minute bar longs today. Craft coming back. Hood calls being bought. Eights, guys. The July 22nd, eight calls in Hood being bought. July 22nd, eight calls being bought here. Hood calls being bought, guys. Hood calls being bought. Not hitting any error scanners. The July 22nd, eight calls. So we see Amazon calls being bought. Those are down. We saw New Norwegian calls being bought. We, we, those are down. Amazon down to 95. Norwegian down to 35. Norwegian getting destroyed. The futures aren't really moving here. 3807, guys. That's the level that we hit last time. Futures done 100. Seen two signals today. We've seen Amazon calls. Yeah, Hood is close to a 52 week low. Craft on 55 cents. Let's look at SPY straddle. I can't imagine what the straddle is right now. So there's a straddle that expires today in SPY. So the 380 straddle, they're applying a 50-point uh, move today. 50-point move implied between now and the end of the day. 
50 point move implied between now and the end of the day, guys. And then now and the end of the week, can't imagine that straddle. 150 point move. So straddle that closes this week, guys, is fifty dollars. Fifty dollar move between now and end of the week. So now at the end of the day, I was going to call something out. The real no four and a half or thirty thirty five. Two signals to hit the scanners. Usually we get about ten of them. TZA is an ETF. The triple bear ETF. And Amazon calls are buck. Norwegian calls are 37. They're both technically losers here. Market really hasn't moved, though. Google down 55, Amazon down. Tesla announced he's going to do a uh, split now. Oh, Amazon's starting to move up now. Amazon up to 116, so Amazon 111s. Amazon calls up to 116 now. Always depends where you got in. If you got in 95. You can use uh, targets of 50 and 100 percent. It always depends where you get it. So Norwegian and Amazon are the two signals we've seen today. Uh, Hood did hit Fallen Angels. So Hood hit our, hit our Fallen Angels. July 22nd, 8th. It's a small order. It's only a 1,000 lot, but they did hit. So I'll let you guys know this. They did hit our Fallen Angels. So Fallen Angels here in uh, Hood. So Fallen Angels stocks on a 52-week low. Buyer of Hood, 722, 2022, eight calls for $0.57. Cents. So Hood calls being bought on our Fallen Angels. That is uh, stocks on a 52-week low. You didn't get into Amazon, yeah. Maybe you'll have a chance to get into Amazon again. So hood trading here. Right at this 3,800 level, guys. Right at this 3,800 level. Seat trading here, nothing to do with seat.
but calls down, Amazon down. PDD uh, next week 63s, guys. PDD next week 63s. Actually, this week 63s in PDD trading here small. PDD 63s. If you're just down 102, WEAT calls me about January 10s. Those are in the money. MGNI, weekly tens trading here. Nothing to do in those. We do have education today, guys. I put the link in here a couple times. We just on 92 now, starting to rally here. Eminem is not starting to rally. R-E-S. No, we never had a sell order in that. We're still in those. They're about 15 cents. That trade is a loser. Any longs are going to be losers in the last couple weeks. So we've had, like, I think three straight losers. And I own up. You know, if we have losing trades, we have losing trades. Futures dot exactly 100. Right to this 3807. No five minute bar longs today. No five minute bar longs. AMC getting crushed. GameStop getting crushed. Cryptos just getting destroyed. I did an uh, Instagram video on cryptos. Wow, Ethereum down 35%. WB down. They were buying WB, was it July 30s? Yeah, I think it's July 30s. They're down at 5 cents at 20 cents. So we haven't called out any signals yet. No five minute bar longs. We open up down so low. And the relative strength index, guys, on the S&P, we're not actually at oversold levels. So on the RSI and the daily chart, we're actually not even at oversold levels. So we actually have some more room to down, the downside. We're at like 33 on, on RSI and the daily. Um, and I think we could get down to, I mean, 3,400 is kind of my line in the sand. I think we can get down another 12%. eBay calls being bought, nothing to do with eBay. So the two, three things I've seen of interest, guys, I've seen hood calls, Amazon calls, and NCOH.
Yeah, no politics, guys. We're not talking any politics. If you guys keep talking about politics, we'll, we'll actually ban your chat. We don't want that for anybody. BLDR, 70s trading here. Nothing new in that one. Fifty point move implied today, guys. Fifty point move is still implied for today. We're just we we're just hanging out in this range. Amazon calls one oh eight. Come on, baby, give me something to trade. Amazon 109 on the calls. You can still get the Amazon calls if you like them, if you think the market's going higher. Thirty-eight oh seven is where we bottomed out last time. We're right at that level right now. Do we get buyers from this level? I do not know. Only seen three interesting signals: Amazon, Norwegian, and Hood. They're actually all losers right now. Macy's down. Just hanging out here. We're like, we don't know what to do. Double B calls being sold. No five minute bar longs today. SPY at the money straddle. There's one that expires today. It's implying a 50 point move in the SP today. Or a five point move in the SPY. So we could be down 150 or we could be down only 50. Uber down, Kraft down, ass calls being sold, oil getting crushed, Exxon down four bucks, Chevron down seven bucks, so five percent of these.
Do you have an option education afterwards, guys? Come on. Amazon down to 91 now. Now we're on the lows. Implying a 50 point move to the upside or downside, guys. Now in the end of the day. Craft down. Hood calls are down. Amazon calls down to 85 cents in the 111s. Amazon still got that nice ATR, guys, of $6 a day. We just down to 111. One twelve, breaking that thirty eight oh seven level, guys. Breaking that thirty eight oh seven level. ZIM calls being sold, nothing to do. June expiration is on Friday, guys. No work Monday. We have uh, Juneteenth day. We are now down 300 points in three days. 300 points in three days. We're still not at an oversold level just yet. We're implying a 50 point move between now and the end of the day. Amazon down to 77. I'm close to wanting to call out a signal here at 77 cents. If you get it at 77, they only have to go back to 115. Peloton eleven and a half is being bought. Peloton under ten dollars. Peloton eleven and a half is being traded here, guys. Peloton eleven and a half is trading here, twelve cents. Peloton 11 and a half trade in here. Let me see if they hit any of my scanners here. I don't think they did. Peloton 11 and a half trade in here, 12 cents. A 1400 trade dollar amount is a pretty small order. Mm -mm. Futures down 115 now. Fifty point move implied now and then of the day, guys.
Grab a sip of water, guys. We've got about 15 minutes left. Futures on the lows. VXX. Futures on 117, guys. VXX trading here. The VIX exploding. Let's look at the VIX here. VIX of five points here. Hood down. Hood calls are 57. Amazon down to 75 now. Do, 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 do. Peloton this week, 11 and a half. Twelve cents. Okay, E trading here. So we've only seen three things. So Amazon calls being bought, weekly 111s. Um, they're down to 76. Futures on the lows, 3780. We've actually tested it, take them out the low to the downside of 3807. An interesting thing is, do we have sellers here or buyers? Are there hedge funds blowing out today? Or are we going to find buyers in the market? Is there cash on the sidelines? One twenty-five. 50 point moving pie between now and the end of the day, guys. So the upside or the downside? Lucid calls being bought. They're getting after Lucid, guys. 17 and a half. Keep an eye on these. Lucid 17 and a half. They're up to 6,000 of Lucid 17 and a half calls, guys. Lucid 17 and a half. They're up to 16, uh, 6,000 of these in Lucid, guys. Lucid 17 and a half trading here, guys. Amazon down to 72. Futures on the low of the session.
Ten minutes to go, guys. We do have option education today. Wayfair down 290. Amazon down to 69 cents on the weekly 111s, guys. So you can get these cheaper. 69 was a low on these. Weekly 111s. Amazon. They, they, we saw them at 112. Nine minutes left to go. Three signals is light for today. UUP trading here. CIS, CISO trading here. Cyberus Cyber Sentinel. The seven and a halves. HST trading here, nothing to do with those. Credit Suisse down, real down. All BSX calls being bought, those are January 42s. I mean, I'm running 20 scanners, we've only seen three signals. Uh, no day trades, no penny spikes. We saw one moonshot, one in hood. Amazon down, down to 64. Low of the session, HST July 18s trading here. HST July 18s. I really want to call it a signal here in Amazon at 60 cents. I really want to call it a signal here in Amazon. The 111s. Fifty-five cents, guys. Fifty-five cents now on Amazon. Futures on the lows. Amazon 111's down to 55. Now they've just popped back to 60. Five minutes to go. <coughs> that doesn't sound good. <clears throat> 
Lower. Oh, we just see our first uh, option hacker trade in AUPH, July 13th. Option hacker flags AUPH, July 13th. AUPH July 13th trading 54 sets. So option hacker flags buyer of AUPH July 15, 2022, 13 calls for 53. So AUPH guys, option hacker flags a signal. Probably wouldn't take it here. If you if you took Amazon and you want to add around 55 cents, I don't blame you. You've got to think the market's going up. Like I came in today, I was like, I wasn't overly bullish. But, you know, I think that there'll be buyers, maybe a little bit lower than here, but pretty close. A U P H. Futures on one thirty. Amazon down to 50. Come on. Let's get a little bit more selling pressure. We get Amazon at 50 cents. They're down at half already. All right. I'm calling out a signal, guys. Amazon at 48 cents. I can't say no to these. Bye. Amazon. 6 17 2022 111 calls for 48 cents up to 54 targets 75 and a buck amazon i can't say no to these they've gone down too much if you just have sold off 30 points we get any bounce these will pop pretty hard if you guys don't think aren't bullish market do not take these guys if you're not bullish market please do not take these 48 cents up to 54 on the 111s, guys. Amazon. Amazon, guys. 48 cents. So I wanted to watch the market go down. It's accurately went down. Can it go down lower? Yes. But for 48 cents. I can't say no to these. Amazon, 111s. Amazon, 111s. 542 up to 55. 54, we call them. Amazon 111s, guys. Amazon 111s. Just a whole week for 48 cents. Targets will be 75 and a buck. So Amazon official signal here. If you're not bullish the market, please do not take these. You have to be bullish the market. If you're not bullish the market, please do not take these. All right, guys. That is our time. I'll see everybody in option education. I put the link here in the middle. I'll put it one more time. I'm not sure which chapter we're on, but I'll let you guys know. Here is the link again. Free option education. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. No bonus trading today.